In this video, we will create the frame and the fork of the wooden bicycle. To create this part of the structure, we just need a closed polyline describing the outline of this shape, and then these circles to create the holes in it. The method we will use here is to redraw the outline of this figure. So let's select the polyline function. We can start here. In this case, we need an arc in this section. For that, we choose the option Arc with the A key and simply indicate the endpoint. Don't worry if the arc shapes don't match at the moment, we will adapt them manually. We continue to add arcs. The last one over here. Press Enter two times to exit the command. The closed polyline is created. What is missing is the correct shape. We select the polyline and use grips of the three arcs to drag and match the base figure. Now let's extrude the main polyline along these three circles. We specify the extrusion height as one unit. We now perform a boolean operation to subtract the inner cylinders from the main solid to create circular holes. We confirm and now our shape is hollowed out. Here is the fork. It will be a single piece together with the handle. Extrude the inner circle by 12 units and the outside circle by 5 units. For the fork, we will extrude by 4.5 units. We choose the top view. If our three dimensional object was a box, we would see the upper surface. The view that we have of the object would coincide with the front view. This is simply because the design basis was created in the original XY plane. Usually we work in 2D. We should rotate this bike to match the view with RS Commander's default view. To correct this, we move to the right view. Now, from this view, we can rotate the whole figure with reference to the absolute zero and turn it by 90 degrees. We return to the top view. Now we are seeing the bicycle from above. Next, let's choose an isometric view for the drawing. We need to change the position of this structural element. We will do that from the top view. From this point, let's turn it by 2 degrees. Now let's perform a symmetry. Note that there is a part above the axis, but in that case it doesn't affect us. Perform a symmetry of this piece and the two cylinders. From an isometric view, we can have a broader view. Now we will work with the fork. We therefore position the UCS on this side. We define the origin and the position of the X, Y and Z axes. Now let's draw a rectangle from this end. Measuring 2.5 on X axis and 10.5 on the Y axis. We move the rectangle to match the end of this side. Now let's make a circle. The center will be located in the top right corner of the rectangle with the same width as for the rectangle. Next, we extrude the rectangle with a negative value of 20 to obtain these two pieces. 
we also perform a subtraction between the fork and the two solids. We can see, after removing, there is a part missing. So, we go back. The problem is this rectangle should be longer. How much more? It's enough that it is longer than the figure which we will cut. We could even copy the rectangle to get another one located below. We extrude the circle and the two rectangles by a value of minus 10. Now we perform a subtraction between the fork and the solids that we have created. We perform the symmetry from a top view of the fork. We unite all parts of the fork and handles into a single solid. We can also join the two parts of the structure together. Now let's add the wheels. For that purpose using external references. We go to the front view. From the Insert menu, let's select Attach Drawing. Select the file and click Open. We specify the insertion point to be 0 in the three axes. Because it matches the absolute zero of this drawing, it's the same as the one where we designed the wheel. The scale will be 1 for the three axes to maintain the same scale factor. As a result, there are no other changes required. Press OK. Now we copy this wheel and make the necessary adjustments. Especially in the structure to make sure it will not touch the rear wheel. We turn off the layers containing the saddle and the supporting structure. We found that the structure must have a greater angle in order to not touch the rear wheel. Solution? Let's separate the union we have between the two components of the structure. For that we use the slice command. Select the entity and determine an axis that cuts through two points. Then with a click we choose the side you want to remove. We will further rotate this part. For example like this, to make sure that the wheel does not touch anymore. Now we perform a symmetry of the structure and we join both sides together. We activate the layers that were deactivated before. From an isometric view, the model appears nearly finished. To improve the wheel, we will further see how to add spokes and the axes. Have a look at our next video to learn more. <laughs>